Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches! A retro review of episode 30. It's the 30th anniversary of Troop Beverly Hills. Troop Beverly Hills. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to talk about this movie. I fucking love this movie. I fucking love Shelley Long. Oh yeah. She can make pretty much anything work. Pretty much. I don't think this movie would work, obviously, without her. But I was like trying to genuinely think of like who mm. could have played her, and I was like, I don't think there's anybody. Yeah, I don't really know. She's so perfectly amazing. Yeah, it's because it's very easy for you to hate this character. Oh, sure. Like it would be very easy, and yet you adore her. Yeah. First, we get the opening credits. I miss. Opening cartoon credits. I do too. It reminded me of Grease. It was yeah. like, oh, fun and silly. It was so like, yeah. Fun. It's like Christmas vacation. It was like really fun. Well, it's telling you a story. It sets the mood. You well, know, it's like. When I was a kid, I was like, oh, cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make it big. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, make, make it big, big boop, 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 boop. And then, like blow drying the bees away. It's all just silly. Silly and fun. Well, and I read that one of the creators of Red and Stimpy like did the. And I was like, oh, I see it. I do. I do too. <laughs> I did realize that this movie is, is probably isn't a minority opinion. This movie is the reason I ever wanted anything to do with the Girl Scouts. I mean, I, I ultimately never joined the Girl Scouts, but when I watched it, I thought, that could be fun. I wonder if that's how I was first introduced to this movie. Hmm. Because I, I can't remember, but like my sister was in Girl Scouts, so maybe, maybe it was like a movie that her Girl Scout, you know, like that seems like a thing. Right. I mean, because it almost it. seems like some sort of cross promotion. Oh, I mean, I mean they're the not wilderness girls, but no, but it, it, it promotes that idea. It's like, yeah. oh, I want to be in the Girl Scouts too because of you know Shelley Long. <laughs> I want Shelley Long to take me shopping. Yes. Oh does it God. sing? Does it sing? Yes, it does. And it's called a canary diamond. Yes. Does it sing? Uh, no. Yes, it does. Eighty percent of my notes are just. Yes, this polka dotted suit with oh, this hat. Yes, this yellow polka dotted suit with this hat. Yes, look at that jumpsuit. Like, that's all my notes. Yeah. So we'll get into it. We'll talk about it. So her first look oh, is polka dotted suit. Oh, yeah. The red belt. It's amazing. Fucking love it. That hat is fabulous. All of her hats are fabulous. True. Oh, my God. Especially, like, the... What is it, like an ostrich feather, peacock feather? Oh, the whatever. one <laughs> the, she like... with the cape? Yeah, yeah. All the suits were really giving me like His Girl Friday 40s. I mean, the 80s yeah. was like referencing the 40s with like the shoulder pads yes. and the little waist yeah, and yeah, all of yeah. that. But it was like really giving me some like Rosalind Russell, God. you know, like fabulosity. And I was like, yeah. mm, yes. This is Carla Gugino's uh, debut. She plays Chica. Oh, Chica, Chica. Barnfellow. I always thought it was weird that her name was Chica. Uh, well, especially because um, Rosario. And she is, I think, the most famous of all the girls. Oh, really? Now. Yeah. She was in, you didn't watch Gerald's Game, but there's this Netflix movie called Gerald's Game that she's great in. She was in, like, Sin City. She's in a bunch of stuff. Mm, interesting. I feel like if you saw her, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that lady. But apparently she lied and said that she was 14 when she was actually 16. So she could get the part. And that's why she's like the tallest yeah, of all of them. Yeah. And, but it works because she's like the elegant, graceful, she really, like, exactly. riding one. And we get introduced to Shelley Morrison. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, it's weird seeing her basically just playing the same part. I mean, she's treated much better than Rosario. <laughs> sure. Although she's less sassy than Rosario. Less sassy, more sort of just... Sweet. Oh, yeah. And then the next outfit happens. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I guess we should talk about the movie a little. Sure. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I mean, oh. we, just, we just I was assume. like, outfits. We just... Shelly Long <laughs> outfits. More outfits. Oh, well, first and foremost, if you have not seen True Beverly Hills, do okay. yourself a favor. Yeah. Go watch True Beverly yeah. Hills. Press pause. Go watch it. It holds up. It's worth, like, if it was $38 on iTunes, I would probably pay for it. Because I would watch it a million uh, times. I mean, the Rotten Tomatoes is staggeringly low. It, Rotten Tomatoes doesn't know a fucking thing. I'm over it. I don't trust them for anything. It's no. like, oh, fucking hocus pocus. What? They don't understand camp. No, they don't. At all. Uh-uh. But also I think it's like these older reviews. You know, there weren't as many and there right. wasn't, it was so, it's, it's a, it's like Rotten Tomatoes you can't trust for old things. We gotta, we gotta change the algorithm, guys. Yeah. Go okay. watch this movie. Yes. Because it really does hold up. Yeah. I thought, uh, I hadn't seen it in a little while, obviously I love it, but I was like, this is tight. Oh, it's so tight. For me, there's no real flaw or flop dud. or dud. Yeah, it all the works. The only joke I rolled my eyes at was... Patches. 
We don't need no stinking batches. Batches? Because, like, that's just so cliche. Batches? We ain't got no batches. We don't need no batches. I don't have to show you any stinking batches. And the mob father. Yeah, and the mob But they father. do a few of those, and so then it becomes, like, this silly making fun of Hollywood motif. Yes, so yes. then it's, like, actually this kind of works. You're like, okay, I'm fine with it. I mean, obviously, you already paused this and went to watch it, so we don't right. really have to explain the plot. But, but essentially, the saga of Phyllis Neffler, Beverly Hills housewife, who, I mean, it was ahead of its time going with that stuff. Like, I don't feel like people were shining a mirror on Beverly Hills as much yet. Oh, maybe. Yet. It was more of a 90s thing. But anyway, sure. who's going through a, a shaky divorce. Marital status? Shaky. shaky. <laughs> marital status. Shaky. And she's going to take over her Girl Scout, her daughter's Girl Scout uh, troop and do it their way. Yeah. So at their first Girl Scout oh meeting, her outfit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This like Easter basket. You said Pringles. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> that below the side. It's like she's wearing a hat, but then she also has a hat on her hip. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dictator. <laughs> Mrs. Dictator. <laughs> well, good morning, Dictator. Mrs. Dictator, is the caviar too much? <laughs> is the caviar too much? And this is when we get introduced to all the different girls. And I thought they did a really good job of individualizing. Absolutely. All of the girls. There's so many characters in this movie, and they're all pretty well represented. Like, There's you feel eight like you girls, know, and you know pretty much all of them. I mean, you know all of them. Yeah, you do. You also get to know all of their parents. Yeah. And they all have characters. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's impressive. They really mastered montaging mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there's so many, right? Where it's like we have the getting to know the girls. They're all arriving at the first meeting yep. montage where it's like and them meet driving. All the parents. Exactly. It's, it's the breakfast club. They're all yep. getting dropped off. Yep. You know? But like, I feel like you learn more about the parents in this than in the breakfast club. Oh my God, you learn so much about them. I mean, excuse me, officer. <laughs> Do you know who you are talking to? <laughs> He's my dad. The jackhammer shuck off. Now, daddy, shake the man's hand and let's be on our way. The actress girl, with oh her, my God. her Joan Collins' mother, yes. obsessed. Oh Felt his manhood rising to a frenzy? Felt his manhood rising to a pulsating frenzy. Felt his. What? what, what <sighs> in court. Manhood rising to a frenzy. Mmm. Mm. Tumescent? <laughs> What's another word for engorged? Tumescent? Perfect. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Rise to a pulsating frenzy. That's good, I like it. Yeah, that's good, I love it. <laughs> 14 year old daughter, I great. Love it. And the neurotic daughter with the director dad and yes. Stanford from Sex and the City. Yeah. There's a lot of character actors that just are like, oh, and that's right. Oh, that's right. I mean, there's a lot of cameos, period. A lot of cameos, but then there's a lot of like, oh, you could went yeah. on to be a little more famous. That's oh, true, that's true, oh. that's true. Should we talk about the the other side, the troop meeting, mm. and then picking Phyllis Neffler? Yeah. I always loved her. She kind of reminds me of well done. Well, I was going to say, she's got a little bit of Glynis Johns. She's got a little bit of Eva Marie Saint, mm. I think. But it's Mrs. Roper from Three's Company. Age. <laughs> Says here, not applicable. She didn't have the crazy clown hair on. <laughs> and a captain. So I didn't notice. And then Velda. Yeah, we're introduced to Velda and Annie. Yep. Oh, yeah, Annie. She's great. She is. I looked her up, like, because I was like, I know her from something. And it was like, oh, it's from everything. She's oh. just like that lady that's in everything. It was not what it's probably this. Sure. Most specifically. Right. But I was like, she's in shit. And I was just like, yep, 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 yep. I think Velda does a really good job of being a villain that you can laugh at and hate. The annual jamboree, which is a grueling test. Are you drying your nails or do you have a question? <laughs> oh, because I feel like this character could be so annoying where you're just like, oh, just get over it. Oh my God, like get on board. Th right. You're annoying. She's so rigid and... She's so committed to the bit. She's so committed. That, that you're like, I mean, well, yeah, this person's crazy. Well, it is Betty... Does she strike you as minus a few buttons? You know, like, yeah, she does. Well, and it's Betty Thomas, this actress, who then 
went on to like direct a whole bunch of movies. I was so excited. She directed like the Brady Bunch movie, which then Shelley Long was in, you know, Shelley, yeah. which was weird. She did 28 Days, that like Sandra Bullock movie where she's like in rehab. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She did, like, the Dr. Doolittle remake. She did I Spy remake. Uh -huh. She did John Tucker Must Die. Like, I was like, yeah, Oh, Betty I like Thomas. John Tucker Must Die. I was like, okay, Betty. Huh. Sure, Jan. <laughs> sure. I've never heard of a George Glass at our school. That's because he's a transfer student. He came in the last week of school. And he thinks I'm super cool. Sure, Jan. Sure, Jan. <laughs> really liking that movie um i, I just rewatched whole that whole scene because you know obviously like sure jan gif is like sent all the time the whole scene yeah is a masterpiece i mean i remember that movie being really funny like is it was sort of that heyday of like remember when they were just remaking every 50s 60s sitcom and yeah. like yes. the beverly hillbillies and like they was just all of them yeah but i remember those being especially self-aware mm. of what like the show and then like placing it in the 90s and how funny like we're gonna get like carjacked and stuff oh my god we're getting i don't really remember it so i think we might have to do a retro maybe we should rewatch. but is it funny does it hold up i feel like it's funny i, I mean get, it, have to, get yeah. it betty thomas well but she must just really get it because i think that's part of i mean the characters everyone in this movie seems to know what they're doing right. like in what movie they're in but she i think that's what helps make her character tolerable like right. you're saying is that she gets what movie, like she knows what she needs to do yeah she really gets she tone brings it to the table yeah then they have to go uniform shopping oh my god no one ever bothered to take us to the store, store. well i may be a beginner at some things but i've got a black belt in shopping do they only come in khaki i've got a black belt in shopping now what sizes do you need well, I need a French 36. Well, that French stuff, you're gonna have to go to Frederick's Hollywood. I just love the progression of the uniform. Oh my god. I mean, there's so many iterations. <laughs> oh, Henri, what can you do with this? Oh, what is that? My god, darling, what is that? I know, it's my wilderness girl uniform. What can you do with it? You mean besides burn it? <laughs> with this, like, Lumiere, like, braid pullback thing? I'm like, what's this? What's this? Stick the hanky out. <laughs> she sticks to the color scheme, but like the fabric scheme. But you know, it's like the yeah. silk beige shirt yes. with the, <laughs> the silk lining of the cape. And it's just like all the piping. And yes. the, it's, it's so fucking great. It's amazing. And we, we've, we've reached the camp out. We're there. Oh my God, are we it's already only there? only an overnight, Mom. Oh my God. In the wilderness of life, you can never be too prepared. So the big fur coat. Just the, White. there's like three limos with trunks on top and then the party rental van. Well, girls, are you ready to rough it? Well, we're supposed to set up the tent, but the Abbey Rents people already did that. <laughs> oh, <I'm> so bored. <laughs> sitting there with the magazines. She's sitting there with the champagne. I'm just... This is next, Mom. Smokey the Bear says only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey the Bear isn't going through a terribly messy divorce. Smokey the Bear isn't going through a terribly messy divorce. <laughs> Don't worry, girls. I've got the fondue. Oh, no. Oh, fabulous. All right, all right. Go in the tent. Go in the tent. I'll save the dessert. Oh, my God. This part always stressed me out. Her sort of, like, pick helmet hat and just the rain that comes out of nowhere. Oh I mean, this the drama of this scene. Oh, I'm my just God. Like, oh, my God. I mean, it has to be fully ruined, right? It's ruined. She's you dry it. clean a twenty thousand dollar fur coat. She's Phyllis Neffler. <laughs> Buy a new one. No, you get a dry clean. But can you dry clean it? Is what I want. Like, I don't know how the maintenance of fur. I don't know. I don't own any. But anyway. Yeah. Coming up with the fondue okay. in her mouth. <laughs> Not until we sing Kumbaya. And her recommendation for a campsite was totally unsuitable. There were no outlets. And, and there was dirt and bugs and, and it rained there. Well, it rained there. <laughs> there were no outlets. It was funny because I was like, outlets for what? No one had a phone. I guess hair dryers? Sure. But like now whenever I hear there were no outlets, it was to charge like your my phone. phone. That's true. So it was kind of like, oh. Yeah, outlets for what? Hair dryers. Oh my God. So we're at the next outfit. This blush negligee, the cape, oh these fucking sleeves. <laughs> 
Oh it's my god. Fur oh my god. Sleeves. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the matching pink cigarette holder. Oh my god. I mean, she's just a drag queen. Yeah. But the most fabulous one. Well, it's like, is it any wonder why I loved her in this movie? <laughs> of course. You're like, oh. you're my like icon. You have a different outfit for every occasion. Yes. And you change it every scene, if not more than every scene. Like, talk about the costume designer. Yes, yes. Has the time? We have to. Has the time come? Yes. Theodora Van Runkle, who I looked up because I was like, this is like too iconic. I mean, it just, this has to be somebody. Turns out she did like Thomas Crown Affair, Bonnie and Clyde. Like all of these iconic movies, SOB, which is famously the movie where you see Julie Andrews boobs. I haven't seen it. It's scandalous. It's great. I have. It's a dark. I mean, not because I want to see her boobs, because it's Julie. It's Andrews. such a weird moment of just like, here they are. <laughs> But um, SOB is like a really, really dark satire of Hollywood oh. by Blake Edwards, her husband. And she did like uh, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas and Rhinestones. So oh, yeah. like, okay, obviously Dolly so and her the really got strap along. Dance. <laughs> she did fucking The Jerk. <laughs> she did The Godfather Part 2. Oh my god. Peggy Sue got married. And this little movie that no one's ever heard of called Same Time Next Year. Did, but anyway. Yes, so she did these obviously as well. And, and it's amazing. And True Beverly Hills, yeah. like, which is pretty much the most iconic of all of them. I mean, <laughs> so but like, fight me on it, Bonnie and Clyde fans. <laughs> but I was just so impressed. Yeah. It's so much care. I just don't understand why they don't do this anymore. Like, Costume design? Yeah. I mean, they do. They do. But they, you know what's crazy is that like I mean the fact that Black Panther was the first film in like 35 years or whatever to not be a period piece to win Since Best Costume. Priscilla. Was this nominated? These were nominated. Of course not. Which is bullshit. Total bullshit. That's like total bullshit because these costumes are fucking amazing. I just you know I'm not saying every movie has to have a crazy costume you know changes all the time blah, 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 blah. but I don't know there's just it's so much it so enhances this movie. I was just gonna say think about if they were mediocre outfits and like same with Clueless. Yeah. If the costumes in Clueless were shit the movie would be so, so much, much worse. Less, yeah. Like well it, this movie with just normal it would be like it wouldn't make sense you'd be like oh well it but like wouldn't be the classic it is. No because her character is informed by the outfits it yeah. like becomes this whole persona where yeah. it's just like oh yeah she's just a fabulous bitch. <laughs> I mean, Phyllis Neffler is on Fabulous Cunt Island. <laughs> Shelley Long is also on Fabulous Cunt Island. Phyllis Neffler is in... The, the imaginary Fabulous Cunt Island. You know, what was Fictional. That? Yeah, fictional Fire Island or something. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know. Yeah. So, quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more outfits. Make it big, boop, boop, boop. Make it big, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> If you really want to. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And then this iconic scene. Oh my gosh. The scary story. Yes. <gasps> then it sounded like it was in the foyer. <gasps> then it sounded like it was in the maid's room. <sighs> His name was Ronaldo. <laughs> it was a rainy Friday. <laughs> I went to Christophe's like I normally do, but Christophe was mysteriously missing. Ronaldo. I'll streak your hair, and I'll, I'll give, give it you a, a body wave. wave. <laughs> he permed me! <laughs> and then in the morning we get like them playing Poker with the room service guy. Oh, right. With the wieners and marshmallows. This, oh, this guy. I'll see your two marshmallows and raise your wiener. You're bluffing. Just wieners and marshmallows. <laughs> and poker. And gambling. Yeah. Love it. I love it. Well, they're watching Pee Wee Herman on oh, the yeah. TV. It's just like so silly. And we got our first cameos by. Uh, Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello. Oh, yeah. From the Beach movies. Are there multiple? Cameos. Oh, like, not, like, in general. Was I was like, first... do they show up multiple no, times? I, I mean, I'd love it if they're just, like, jogging yeah. past everything. Like, jogging past the Nefflers. Oh, hello. Come on, Frankie. Will you stop? 
<laughs> that would have been fun. The first of many cameos yes. by people. And I mean, I guess this doesn't count as a cameo, but it's Tori Spelling's first movie. Oh, sure. Yeah. And your patches, those are fabulous. Where can I buy those? Oh, you don't buy them, you have to earn them. <laughs> oh, right, like jewelry. And the, was it the crafting fair or whatever with the backpack? Oh, yeah, the crafts fair, and then they, they bring was, their fancy I mean, this was, this was, like, stupid to me, because I was like, this is fabulous. You guys I, are, don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it's fabulous, but also it has nothing to do with wilderness girls, but yes. Sure, but if you saw this, like, girl who you've seen on TV, you know, like, prancing oh. down a runway, you know, with, like, this fabulous backpack, you wouldn't be like, ha, 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 boo, right, right. you suck, we hate you. Worse, Beverly Hills. <laughs> Squeal. It's so oh weird. It's so weird that their reaction is so huge. Where are you guys from? Mars? Worse. Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> the next iconic look, she's on the phone pruning an orange tree. Oh or my something. god. And this zebra pant with like an overskirt and the hat and the matching gloves and like, oh my god! Oh shit, I broke a nail! <laughs> The parents in this neighborhood are so self-involved. You, oh shit, I broke a nail. Yes, Annie is gonna be a spy undercover for Felda and this be an Mission assistant Impossible. troop leader. Oh my God, I was like really into this. Oh yeah. Like the, the yeah. cutting of the, the insert shots yes. of the cutting yes. of the book and the putting in of the camera and the really loud yeah. camera yeah. noise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something about it really like, I was like, I think because it was like spy tech, but right. in like a real world for sure, us. I mean, sure. not that we're like in Beverly Hills, but like. I was like, you know, I was like already into Harriet the Spy, so I was like. Yes. 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 Remember the Harriet the Spy movie? Fuck, fuck, yes! The Hey Arnold cartoon aired before it. I was really excited and saw it in the theater multiple times. <laughs> May have had a Harriet the Spy notebook. Oh, I'm sure. <sighs> <laughs> Just now squeeze your butt as you come up. Squeeze! <laughs> oh, my God, I mean, it's just so perfect. The Jane Fonda workout. Oh my God, one then we get the Jane Fonda. I mean, I wish we saw Jane Fonda. I mean, yes. We don't get quite get a cameo from Jane. No. Not in person. But we have the Jane Fonda, like, gym. Yeah. I guess must have really existed. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did, but like, I didn't, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Never go to Reno, girls. The California community property laws can't be beat. Hmm. You can't beat the community property laws in Is California. <laughs> never go to, to Reno. Reno girls. You never give me an ounce of credit for anything I do. That's because you never do anything. Well, I guess I'll do something right now. I'll help you pack. So good. <laughs> and then the, the gardener with the leaf blower just like, well, I just keep blowing these socks. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, well we forgot, when she brings over the mayo jar is when we get this oh. gray, I mean, the next outfit on the list, this gray speckled jumpsuit with the red shoes and the red, oh my god, oh god, I want them all, I want all of the outfits, I, I want mean, them all! Really? Oh! Oh, I should be Phyllis Neffler for Halloween! Oh my god, that'd be amazing! I mean, it'd be a lot. You'd have to, I don't know how you would do it. How can I pick an outfit? How can I I was just going to say you would look amazing in the pastel dress. Ooh, thanks. I think it'd be easier to do the, like, gangster with a raven on her shoulder. I love that outfit. Even when she's, like, depressed and drinking Avion, I'm like, you still look fucking fabulous, bitch. <laughs> Bring me another Avion. Haven't you had enough? <laughs> so stupid. Give me another bottle of Avion. Don't you think you've had enough? I mean, I'm sure it's nice to live in the woods and eat bark. bark. <laughs> but I'm going to teach you how to survive in the wilderness of Beverly Hills. Yes. Well, so this launches us into the patch earning montage. It's a montage, but they're all individual two -thirds, scenes. It's weird. Like, two thirds of this movie are probably montages, but they're not like your typical montage. No. They're just short scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, quick cut. Exactly. It's no like, fat. No, it's like, okay, and then here's this scene that tells you this thing, and then here's this scene. It's the same, it's like a weird type of montage that mm -hmm. works really well for this kind of thing. Yeah, it's great for this kind of movie. Yeah. I think that's why we get to know so many of the characters so well and all of this. It's just like, it, you're putting them all in different situations, yep. and you're just like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, here's this 
kid doing this skill. Here's this thing, you know. Getting to shine. Yeah. So then we get her dancing outfit montage. Oh, oh yeah. my god. The yellow with these like cool eyes. She's like, there's a lot of long shorts. Sure. <laughs> there's a few of them. Yeah. That was her casual around the house outfit yeah. when she wasn't wearing a gown. This one's called the Freddy. I know, life is so ironic. This dance is so fucking stupid. Do that, Freddy. Come on, keep do, dancing, do. keep dancing. Right. She's a great dancer. Yeah, she can sing. Yeah. Given that, that harmony and shit with the happy birthday. Mm-hmm. On the burrito cake. Enchilada? Swiss roll? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Still, all of these years I've never like, known. Mm -hmm. And then we get, oh my god, the CPR scene. Oh my god, Officer Bill. Last time I did this, I got more than a patch. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. I mean, we don't see anything, but we get French kids in the USA. And then all the girls just... <gasps> gross. So loud. loud. <laughs> it's like, wouldn't someone know this? My god, that sounded like a camera going off. <laughs> oh my god. Costume change, costume change, costume change. Then we're, we get to the Van Runkle. Oh my god, oh my god. The reference to the costume yes. design herself within the movie, fabulous. Yeah. Come on, Phyllis, what is this? It's a Van Runkle. Isn't it fabulous? Stunning. We were describing the fall fashions to the blind. One man said he could literally feel the colors. Well, I thought this was great because, you know, we make it, it's really fun and funny and all of this. And then it hi, really, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. And then it really takes an emotional turn. We find out that Craig T. Nelson's planning on possibly marrying his real estate agent. Yeah. Skinny legs, stringy hair, fake boobs. <laughs> How can she subject those innocent children to this? Until this moment, I never believed we were really through. Oh, don't give up, Mom. And it's a real, like, emotional moment. It was. When I think, like, I my parents aren't divorced, so I don't know how that feels. But I think as a kid watching this, if you do have divorced parents, you could really relate to it. Sure. Like, oh my gosh, you know, like, I feel this or whatever. So I think that's kind of important, too. Yeah. My parents were not divorced when I saw this. At so. this point. Yeah. And this sheer half-breed moment of... Oh my God. And that's why the American Indian is responsible for the turquoise jewelry movement. Turquoise jewelry, jewelry movement. movement. <laughs> and you don't realize it until Emily runs off that the pants are fringed. Fringe. She, she oh have to God. have a complete look. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Emily, stop. Will you stop? Please. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they all sort of have, in some ways, neglectful parents, right? Because right? they're off being rich and successful or whatever it is. And it's really nice that she sort of really does become their den mother to all yes. of them. And then it really brings all the girls together, yes. too. Yes. And they all grow over the course oh, yeah. of the movie. And it's oh, fantastic. Yeah. It really is crazy that, like, you know, they become friends and they become... They, they become they, a troupe. They do. It's um, This movie is amazing. Mm. I love it. So we've reached... Our next uniformed outfit. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. This one's the sailor themed one. <laughs> I mean, the part that I most remember about this is. Are you okay, honey? God damn it, throw me a lightsaber! Butterscotch or wintergreen? Of course! Butterscotch or winter mint? Oh, stop. She'll be alright. Silicone is buoyant. Wait, but speaking of her uniform outfits, we haven't even talked about when she interrupts the the orientation and she comes storming the cape someone who doesn't make a ruckus a woman doesn't make a ruckus oh i'm sorry we get her 1940s andrew's sister like army uniform outfit with these high-waisted pants and a tie the matching silk beige tie with jacket strewn over her oh my god it's so good <laughs> But then we get the raven outfit. Oh my god. This is the look I would want to do. This is the most amazing look. I mean, it's not the pastel look. Oh, well, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But I feel yes. like that'd be harder to do. Yeah, oh, the you have to actually one, have the dress like, made. Just, which, why hasn't a drag queen had that dress made? I really don't know. I really don't any know. Any of these looks, literally any of these looks, they could do and it'd be the most amazing. Oh my god, I would love if a drag queen had the balls 
had the cunt to plan that the entire season of their wardrobe was Phyllis Neffler. Which one's it gonna be? It's gonna be this one? It's gonna be this one. Oh my god, I love it. Is it should have been Vanessa Beja Mateo? Yes. Get these cookies! Get these cookies! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. But also, if she at least just did, like, if she did one of any one of Phyllis's the uniform. uniform looks yeah. with, like, a box of cookie, like, Girl Scout cookies to toss out, I would die. Well, but so then they have to go door to door. We and get more cameos. More cameos. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But then we get cookie time. It's, co it's cookie time. It's cookie time. With, <laughs> with her Tina Turner wig and the snake skin fringed vest. A box of them would be so nice. So nice. So nice. <laughs> Keep adding it's twice it's the price. Price, price, price. Come on down. Come on down. It's cookie time. It's cookie time. It's cookie time. So it's really just a series of parties and events. She yeah. should really be a party planner. Oh my god. Right? This like Robin Leach fashion show that happens. Yes! Miss Piazzadora. <laughs> Miss Pia Zadora. Well, this is the famous gif of her with the, oh, with yes. the cape with the gold. And, and the, it's and a the gold, hat. gold lining. Oh, yeah. And oh, this fucking hat. The fucking hat. It's <laughs> so good. She's so amazing. Except oh, my God, the gala. The gala. Black tie, 70 Hillcrest, across from that Girish Saruk mansion. So, see you then. Ta -ta <laughs> so, we're going to have a gala, but black tie. <laughs> Her dress when she shows up. It looks like carpet from like a motel. <laughs> like a hunting lodge. It's just, oh, it's really bad. But Phyllis's dress is, oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. This blue and pink pastel, two toned. And then there's like a tealish turquoise pastel oh, underneath, past and the, it, it fits her like a glove. Well, she turns around at some point and I was like, there she isn't says, any lacing. It's not a corset. There's no zipper. How did she get into this dress? I mean, <laughs> obviously it has to be on the seam on one of the sides, yeah. but it's like, Flawless. Flawless. She's got this like flower choker on. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yes. The most memorable look. Not just because she falls in a pool. Okay. Good night. Drowning. Oh, okay. We're going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> She's like trying to walk out of the right. pool. All like everything is great. I'm yep. still fabulous. Yep. Right, well, and then Annie's makeover. Oh my God. I mean, this I mean, I don't like this outfit. It's I'm atrocious, yeah. but I, like, it's like great. Well, it's also so great. '80s that also like, oh, we raided your closet and took something that you were never gonna wear. Bows everywhere. It's like really tight and short, and just looks like it's uncomfortable. Yeah. It just. But then you know she gets a date with Cheech Marin. All right, Annie Herman, boy, I <laughs> Oh my God. But then later she's dancing with the guy uh, who played the neighbor on Married with Children, who's. Name is escaping me at the moment. Chief Slut, your next stop is Kmart. Screw you, Valda. Screw you, Valda. <laughs> she so like it. I don't usually use that kind of language. I liked it. <laughs> but yes, yeah, she falls in the pool and then yeah. goes into a deep depression. Oh yes, all that Evian. I've lost my will to shop. Phyllis, that's not funny. I've lost my will to shop. Phyllis, that's not funny. Great accent. Spot on. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Her all leather outfit that you can audibly hear as she moves. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> She's fabulous. I want a whole movie about her. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Like, yes. Hi, Val. Lovely to see you too. Okay, fine. On your mark, get stuck. <laughs> I really wish this had been a running gag. Oh my god, yes, exactly. <laughs> Every time, times. I mean, there's only two times, so maybe that like Not mad rule at of threes. It. But Not like, mad at it. Um, well, then we, oh, oh, it's like a bigger and bigger <laughs> bird. It's, it's like falling. a bald eagle. Or <laughs> bald eagles are endangered. <laughs> Um, it's like the scene from Almost Hero. Oh, dear God. You haven't seen Almost Heroes? I don't think so. Oh my God. I 
mean, it's not good, and yet I love it. Come on, you damn bird! Come and get me! So I have a soft spot for very dumb 90s comedies. <laughs> I miss really over-the-top, offensive, stupid comedy. Sure. They don't make them anymore. No, they don't. And I miss it. Well, in her final uniform, these fucking jawed purrs. Oh my god, I love them so much. But can you imagine hiking in silk? Oh no. Ugh. Right? But they have to follow their colored flags, and them changing the flags. I was like, you've just committed, like, they're- They're, they're negligent. They're like, dead. they're not beyond, they're like accessories. Like, yeah. That's what I mean, like, you've just murdered them all. Yeah. Do rattlesnakes live in swamps? Oh no, they oh, hate, hate water. water. Oh. oh no, they hate water. Water moccasins live in swamps. They're just as deadly, but they don't make any noise before they strike. <laughs> Her face as she just drops that. <laughs> oh, their adventures through the woods. Oh my god. And the skunk. The skunk. <laughs> nice going. Way to keep it up. <laughs> They're ready. You're gonna pay for this. Yes, you, you are. are. Somehow like, skins it as a, a hat. Skunk hat in the very next scene. The very that next night. Scene. I love it. Are we at? I think the most iconic line of this entire movie. Yes, we are. So it's the second day, and fucking Velda has again cheated and sabotaged. Sabotaged and the bridge. Well, we had a really nice time, and we did our best, and that's a crock of shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we had a nice time. Shit! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Just once! Just once! I'd like to go the, the distance. distance! I can go the distance. I can find my way. It really frosts my cookies. It just it frosts, frosts my, my cookies! cookies. <laughs> the log scene, which is just as equally iconic. Oh I my feel god, like. so iconic. Well, they've, they've established that the daughter is gymnastics. Yes. She's got her own bar in yes, the house that so she can do it or whatever. I mean, the, the log is absurdly wide. It's like you could just crawl across it. You'd be fine. I am the log. The log. I am the ravine. <laughs> I am scared. <laughs> I am the log. I just love with this scene too, like the camera, the cutaways from the camera oh angles. With like, why? Right. Oh, <laughs> like, like, here we are, wide in the ravine, and she's like halfway across it. Yeah. And then here we are, cut closer, and she's like two feet in. Yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> Great. We get to see the Red Feather's true colors. Oh, yeah. Velda. I think this is just for trappers. It is only dangerous when you don't know what you're doing. <sighs> ankle! And Velda has broken her ankle. Yeah, it's broken. See you later. We'll send someone to get you. Cold. Come on, Red Feathers. Move on. Leo! I was in labor with you for 17 hours! Miraculously, then, True Beverly Hills finds her not in that hole. Like, in a meadow. They hear her. They yelling. move her, I thought. It, to me, it seemed like they moved her. Oh, I guess that's true. But I guess it's fine. It's fine. But maybe it's she funny. maybe she crawled her way out. Maybe the maybe the red feathers took her out of the hole. No, they left. They just left. They just left. You little bitches! We have a choice. We can leave her to be ravaged by beasts or messed with by mountain, mountain. men. By lonely mountain men. Really lonely mountain men. Let's leave her! Right? And those backpacks sure did come in handy now, didn't they? Yeah, they did. This makeshift gurney. Yeah. Looks like they're dragging something. <laughs> oh, must be Velda. <laughs> Looks like an animal. Oh, must be Velda. Right. Well, girls, we don't need a trophy. Right. We just wanted to prove we were real wilderness girls. Well, whoever said you weren't? Well, whoever said you weren't? Velda. Velda. <laughs> We were gonna even talk about the whole Kmart blue light special. Blue light special aisle 13. Cookies. Blue light special aisle 13. Cookies. <laughs> well, whenever I hear blue light special, I think of Goofy Movie. Oh. Oh, that's defo on the list. You know what's weird? I think I just looked this up. Emily is the voice of Roxanne in Goofy Movie. Weird. Weird. And Craig T. Nelson shows up. Yeah. I mean, I was sad we didn't get one more costume change. I'll be honest. It's fair. One more fabulous, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, girls, let's go, y'all. Let's, let's go to Palm Springs or some, right. some like field trip. Yeah. You know, and she's yeah, in some like yeah. It's like I could do without the Kmart. 
it's fine, but like sure. I'd rather another costume. Yes. But they win the jamboree. Yeah. Beverly Hills, what a thrill. Be Beverly, Beverly Hills, Hills, what a thrill. thrill. It's just great. It's really wonderful. And it's one of those movies that like I'm so happy I found it. Oh yeah. I like I don't also don't really remember exactly. I think it was probably like I was at Blockbuster and I was like, yes. Yeah. This fabulous bitch. Although that's not the one I remember. That's not the cover that I'm used to either. She's like in the chair with the fabulous outfit. Yeah. That's the one I remember. Yeah. So I probably, yes, was at Blockbuster and was like. Uh-huh. What's this? Shelly Long, you say. <laughs> I mean, Shelly Long, no offense to Kirstie Alley, but Shelly Long was always my favorite of, I think, all of Cheers, to be honest. I didn't really watch a lot of Cheers. I watch, I love Cheers. That's so weird. I watch so much Cheers. That is so weird. I, I never knew that. Oh yeah, there was like, I went through a phase where I was just looking like, I'm just gonna watch because it was like watch, on. You don't watch a ton of sitcoms. No. You didn't watch Friends, you didn't watch Frasier. Like, I watched watch a little Friends, Grace, I did but... watch Frasier. Did you watch Frasier? I did when it was like on. On, okay. And then I would always watch like, I would watch reruns of I Dream of Jeannie and Bewitched. And I Love Lucy. And, no, I, yes, but not as much. Okay. I Dream of Jeannie and Bewitched okay. were my favorites. What about F True? Never heard of it. <laughs> It was all late night on Nick at Night. Oh my god. I would watch Boy Meets World. Yeah. I watched a lot of Home Improvement. Mm -hmm. um, I remember liking it. I mean, I don't know, do we count Hey Dude as a sitcom? Salute Your Shorts as a sitcom? I don't know. We're getting into a gray area. I just didn't know you liked Cheers. I did, I do. I, I haven't really watched it at all. I mean, that's the beginning of Frasier. I'm I, surprised. I know, but he doesn't show up until like season three. But it's and because not, of Shelley Long. he's not really the oh, Frasier. Oh, Lilith. Oh, Lilith. Oh, I love Lilith. I mean, she's the best. But he's not really Frasier yet. No, 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 he no. He became something else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it's sort of weird. Actually, I don't like his Frasier in Cheers. Yeah, he's... Because he's too whiny yeah. and weak and obnoxious. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, love this movie. Yeah. And again, if you did not heed our warning and not go pause this and watch it... I mean, it doesn't matter. You can watch it you. ten more times now. Like, literally, you could go watch sure. it and then re-watch it to make sure that you saw all the outfits properly. And then re-watch it to make sure Pause that you apologize. Take notes on the outfit. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. 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 Oh. <laughs> But cheers to Shelley Long and to what was her name? Van Runkle? What's Theodora? Theodora Van Runkle. Like and Betty Bucket Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> it really frosts my cookies. Mm -hmm.